Hey folks! In this video we're going to make a duplicator or a copying tool or a pattern tracing tool for the lathe. First we're going to remove this slide assembly. Then we're going to fabricate a large flat surface that goes here with a spot to attach the pattern in the back and then a tool holder. I'm going to use this big chunk of plate steel to do that, but first I need to clean off all this mill scale so we have a nice surface to work with. I'm going to mark more or less the area I want to use so I don't have to clean up the entire piece. I need a place to mount the cutting tool and I don't want to have to manufacture anything so let's see if I can find anything suitable in the box of random stuff. I was looking for this a few days ago. So brass. Googly eyes. Oh. Perfect. I have two of them. I have no idea what these were from or for, but they'll be perfect. Now we need to do some complicated measurements here. Between the two screw holes, annoyingly, there is a divot that I'm gonna have to drill to, but try not to go all the way through. Now let's see if it fits. Good so far. There's something so gratifying when precision made stuff fits perfectly on the first try. It fits! Yay! Nothing catches. Now for the tool post, I'm gonna call it, that will hold the cutting bit. I had a much better idea than what I originally intended while I was having breakfast. It's a little bit more complicated, more parts, more assembly, but it's adjustable, so in the future it should be much more versatile.
Now let's drill and tap some holes for all the mounting hardware that will hold everything in place. Tap 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 Our tapping is done, but I have now to drill out the threads from this side so when I insert the screw here they catch on the other threads and it pulls together the two pieces and tightens them. If I leave threads on both sides it's just going to be screwing through them, it's not going to tighten it up. All right, let's put it all together. It doesn't really need the brass washers, but I think it adds a little bit of flair to it. I like it. This design allows me to set the height of the cutting bit, no matter which bit I'm using. The tool holder is now ready, so I'm gonna make a pattern that goes along with another project that I'm working on, which is why I made this tool to begin with. And the next scene you'll see me trying the tool out. And it works! I mean, it is a tried and true design, I didn't expect it not to work unless I messed it up somehow, but it's still, it's good to see <laughs> when a tool works. Now I have a whole bunch of chisel handles to make, so thank you so much for watching, I'll see you next time.